Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the physical properties of the alkali metals. Okay, so you should know that the alkali metals are in group 1. You should also know that they have one electron in the outer shell, and that is the same for every single alkali metal. There are two physical properties that you do need to know about the alkali metals for the exam. The first one being that they are soft. This makes them easy to cut, and it gets softer as you go down the group. The second property you need to know is that they have low melting points. Now that might surprise you because most metals have high melting points, but the alkali metals are a lot lower and the melting points decrease as you go down the group. Okay, let's have a look at the properties of the three alkali metals then. So we've got lithium, sodium and potassium. If we start off with lithium, you can see it's a dark grey colour. Now, we normally say all metals are shiny, and the reason for that is the alkali metals are so reactive that they get coated in oxygen. They corrode really, really quickly. So, if I were to cut through this, you'll see that lithium is quite easy to cut through, and straight away the metal, you can see, is shiny. The same thing will happen if I move on to sodium. We've got a white solid, so if I cut through that, you can see that cuts really, really easily, and you get your shiny metal through there. And finally, if I move on to potassium, which is a, a grey rock-looking solid, again, this one cuts even easier, so you see your shiny metal. Now, that gives us one of the key properties for the alkali metals. They are soft. Normally you think things like copper, things like iron, they're quite tough, quite strong, but the alkali metals, by comparison, are really soft, and it increases in softness as you go down the group. Right, okay, that's everything you need to know for this video. Let's see if you've picked up any of the information. So I've got three questions for you. Number one is a bit of a recap. Lithium is an alkali metal and has an electronic configuration of 2,1. Explain in terms of electronic configuration the group and period lithium is in. So, in the exam, you'll be able to look at the periodic table and tell me the group and period. However, what this is looking for is how do you get that from the electronic configuration? So, you're looking at that 2, 1. How does that tell you the group and the period? Four marks. One mark for saying the group it's in, one mark for saying how you know, one mark for the period, one mark for how you know. Question two. Alkali metals are shiny metals. Describe two other physical properties of them. One mark for each. And then number three. It's a bit of predicting. Look at the table on the right. We've got lithium with a melting point of 180, sodium 97.9, and potassium, you don't know. Rubidium below it is 39.5. So it's asking you to predict the melting point for potassium. The way to do that is look in between the one above and below, and that's how you can predict it relatively accurately. Pause the video, have a go. We'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So we've got lithium is an alkali metal and has the electronic configuration of 2.1. Explain in terms of the electronic configuration, the group and period it's in. So the first mark is for saying the group, which is group one. How do you know that? Nice and simply, because in the outer shell you have one electron. It's in period two. And how do you know that? Well, these two numbers here tell you you've got two shells, two electron shells. Question two, alkali metals are shiny, describe two other physical properties. So it's important here when it says physical properties, don't talk about how they react chemically. They're soft and they have low melting points. And then finally, question three, look at the table on the right, predict the melting point of potassium. So we've got a question mark here, somewhere in between those two, and the examiners this time would have accepted anywhere between 80 and 50. The exact, if you wanted to know, is 63.5 degrees C. So if you send anything between 80 and 50, you'll get the mark. That's about it for this video. There is a review question for you, which is describe what happens to the melting point and softness of alkali metals as you go down group one, and then predict the boiling point of sodium, very similar to what we've just done. So look above, look below, go somewhere in the middle. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can have a look at my latest video up there. You can also have a look at my website if you haven't seen it before. And you can click on subscribe down below. Bye now.